Hi friends, it's Dana here. I know most of you are all getting ready for school by going out and getting all of your school supplies and wrapping up your summer activities. And some of you may even be buying new school clothes, which is something that I think is really fun to get a brand new outfit or a pair of shoes or a backpack to bring to school the very first day. It makes it just a little more special. Well, in this book, this girl gets a brand new hijab for her first day of school, and she's never worn one every single day before, but her little sister watches as she finds the perfect hijab and wears it with lots of pride and lots of strength. It is by Olympic medalist Ibtihaj Muhammad with SK Ali, and the art is by Hatam Ali. It is called The Proudest Blue. A story of hijab and family. Here we go. Mama holds out the pink. Mama loves pink. But I Asiya shakes her head. I know why. Behind the counter is the brightest blue, the color of the ocean. If you squint your eyes and pretend there's no line between the water and sky. It's the first day hijab. Asiya knows it. I know it. We're sisters. The next day I wait. A new backpack, new light up shoes. I feel special. I feel, feel like twirling. Asiya comes out of the house and I stop. It's the most beautiful first day of school ever. I'm walking with a princess, so I pretend I'm one too. But even princesses have to stop to cross the street. Asiya takes my hand in hers, says, Come on, Faiza. We speed walk it. Fourteen steps, fourteen light ups to get across. Asiya takes me to my line first, hugs me goodbye. I turn to watch her leave. Give a little curtsy to the princess going to the sixth grade area. She's easy to see. Her hijab smiles at me the whole way. My first day hijab is going to be blue too. What's that on your sister's head? A girl in front of me whispers. A scarf, I whisper back. I don't know why a whisper came out. I try again louder now. A scarf, a hijab. Oh, she whispers. Asiya's hijab isn't a whisper. Asiya's hijab is like the sky on a sunny day. The sky isn't a whisper. It's always there, special and regular. The first day of wearing hijab is important, Mama had said. It means being strong. I turn, but I can't see the blue anymore. I run to the big kid's side, 27 steps to see Asiya. I need to give her another hug. I need to see her smile. Faiza? Asiya's eyes wonder why I'm there. Are you excited? I ask about the first day of hijab. She nods, smiling big, and I feel better. Someone laughs from nearby, a boy pointing at Asiya. Why? Asiya's hijab isn't a laugh. Asiya's hijab is like the ocean waving to the sky. It's always there, strong and friendly. Some people won't understand your hijab, Mama had said. But if you understand who you are, one day they will too. In class, I draw a picture. Two princesses in hijab having a picnic on an island where the ocean meets the sky. The girl who whispers in line says she likes it. She says it so loud, the teacher comes over to see it. I wonder if Asiya drew a picture too. Recess time is for five cartwheels in a row. I land the last one near the sixth graders, near Asiya and her friends, near a boy yelling, I'm going to pull that tablecloth off your head. Asiya's hijab isn't a tablecloth. Asiya's hijab is blue, only blue. Asiya turns away, her friends turn away. They race to the middle of the schoolyard, their shoes pounding the pavement, playing tag. Mama, don't carry around the hurtful words that others say. 
Drop them. They are not yours to keep. They belong to those who said them. It takes me 48 steps to get away from the yelling boy. After school, I look around. I look for whispers, laughs, and shouts. But I only see Asiya waiting for me like it's a regular day. She's smiling, strong. We cross the road in hand. I can't wait to get home to show Mama the picture I drew, to show Asiya that I'm wearing the same hijab in it. Because Asiya's hijab is like the ocean and the sky, no line between them, saying hello with a loud voice, saying I'll always be there like sisters, like me and Asiya. Look at that beautiful author, you guys. I am so glad we read this book about the hijab. And really, it's about differences all together, and they are worth celebrating, as she says in her author's note right here. I hope you all enjoyed that book. Thank you so much for reading with me, and good luck on your first day of school. Bye.